talking about football. I made a video the other day um, talking about like not supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and that. And I'm saying that, like, blood, it's a sheep mentality to be supporting uh, Black Lives Matter. Like most of the people that support Black Lives Matter, they've never been on the road and they're just jumping on the bandwagon and that. I'm saying don't support Black Lives Matter. Don't be um, protesting and that for something that happened in a different country over here when the Americans want to back us, you know. So you have to check it. Forget about what the reason was behind like Mark Duggan getting shot, whether he was innocent or guilty, whatever. Right? But someone's been shot in this country. Many of people in this country have died in police custody. Bro, them Americans, them. They have never protested for something happening in the UK. They don't business about us. They don't care about us. They don't rate us. They don't rate us one bit. But as soon as something happens in America, England feels like they need to back um, America. England feels like they need to, and, the, and other parts of the world. I think he was even doing it in Germany, in these other parts of the world. And that man of protesting, man of writing for things that happen in another country. It's like, blood, America would never do that for us. When they're talking about electing the new president, uh, Biden or Trump, people are like, oh, I don't want Trump to be president or when Trump was going to be president before the first time. Oh, oh, I don't want Trump to be president. Blood, have you ever been to America? Have you got any ties to America? You got any links to America? Why do you care who is going to be the president in another country? Unless a man's talking about exterminating black people over there, then yeah. But what has it got to do with you? That's what I'm saying. Like People need to focus on themselves, fam. You shouldn't care what's going on in another country. That's people's problem. Man are worried about what's going on over there instead of in their perimeter. No, you need to focus on what's going on in your life, blood, not what's going on in another country. Maybe, maybe I'm a narcissist. Maybe I'm just some self-centered man or something, isn't it? But that's probably why I'm so focused because I just think about myself and obviously the people then that's close to me. Other than that, I don't business what's going on in the outside world. I don't even... I have a TV upstairs in my room, but man don't watch TV. I don't business what's going on in the outside world. Can't know. For the most part, it don't affect me. Unless they're talking about, oh, you know, sending all the black people then back to Africa or, or, or something mad or there's no petrol and that. Yeah, that's going to affect me. But other than that, what's going on in the... It don't affect me. It don't affect me. Man like Michael Albert. So anyway, back to the original topic i was talking about um sheep and that there's a lot of people that's what i understand like i was talking in this video about people just jumping on the bandwagon and then just supporting anything that that sounds good so most people that support teams like manchester united and liverpool and that blood they're just jumping on the bandwagon they only support manchester united and liverpool because they're the top ranking teams or were the top ranking teams most people have never been to Manchester. Most people have never been to Liverpool. Most people will never go to them places there. The only reason why they support them is because they're at the top of the Premiership and that. But I beg you make Sunderland or Northampton FC be the top ranking team. See if you want to support them. How the hell you support Barcelona? You never even been to Spain, bro. Supporting all these teams and that. You don't, you don't know nothing about these teams. You're only supporting them because they're banging, because they're popping and that. That's why I'm at rate, man, that support teams like uh, Crystal Palace or um, QPR. Yeah. Talking about like um, Mike Tyson and that, and obviously the sheep mentality. So people jumping on the bandwagon, supporting whoever's or what's popping and that. You got, man, their favorite, every, everyone's favorite boxer is Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. You're only, they're, they're, they're only your favorite boxer because they're the most popular boxers and that. But man don't know about real boxers. Man don't know about them legends that ain't really got like a big name in that for whatever reason. Man don't know about Ron Lyle. Man don't know about Ernie Shavers. Man don't know about Sonny Liston, Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey. These, these, see, these fighters, these are the names that used to come out of Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali's mouth, you know. But back then, boxing weren't as popular as it is now. Man only jumping on a bandwagon. Oh, my favourite boxer is Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson. That's only because their name is always ringing bells and that. Followers, man, she, most of these names, man, just called out. You don't even, you've never heard of them, blood. And that don't mean because they ain't good. It's just 
they don't have the popularity. But just because they ain't that popular, they don't mean that they ain't that good. But yeah, I rate, I rate Mike Tyson, isn't it? I rate his boxing and that. Um, and obviously, it's easy to get caught up in that. Oh, my favourite boxer is Mike Tyson. My favourite boxer is Muhammad Ali. And that. But there's a lot of men that come before that. Like, do you know about Thomas Hearns? Blood? Do you know about Marvin Hagler? These men are serious, serious boxers. Do you know about Gerald McLennan? The hitman, yeah? No, no, they used to call, I think they used to call him the hitman, but they used to call him Mini Mike Tyson. And 